Hi friends, it is the end of the day and I did a little filming before it got dark. I was wondering if you are feeling the same way. I just feel like summer slipped away from us and if you live up north then you probably do know that no matter how mild your weather is, um, when you're near the coast the problem is the rain so it's always kind of a race against rain and honestly we've been doing chores until late at night and projects and things that we are able to get done but then you check the time it's 9 30 and it's getting dark or you know right now it's about 10 o'clock so it just barely got dark but it feels like oh my gosh you know the days are slowly going shorter and um, there's still so much to do before summer is over I have to ignore Dom and the dogs who think I am in this world to serve them but at the end of the day this is pretty much how it looks like this patio that we built for them Chill. Chill. We're just trying to make them chill, but they don't get it. Everyone is in bed, so this is the time that I have to clean the patio. Now, this is a great idea, the patio. It really is because during the winter, this turns into like a muddy mess. Around April, we started putting together this patio for the girls. And every night, what I have to do is sweep it and make sure that I pick up all the poop and the wasted hay. And this wasted hay is what I'm using to start new garden beds in my garden. And that way, I don't feel so bad about them wasting so much hay. Here's my compost pail. As you can see, I mean, it's quite a bit of hay, but I can do like three or more scoops, like big this kind of scoops and it's going to start to go down as I water it and I can do one, two, three, four, at least six I am prepping this uh, hotbed for planting and what I did, or what my son did I should say, is use all the compost that was almost ready and put it all in here to fill it up. Since it's a hotbed, and really it's not hot right now because I haven't been watering it and not using it since the spring. Um, it kind of starts always so starting to sink so there's always room to add more now this is compost that was almost ready but not all the way so I am watering it moving things around so that way is ready for planting and I I'm also removing the big sticks and things that are really gonna bother me at the time of planting. Now this is almost done compost. This is not hot compost. This is just a bunch of um, yard cleaning stuff, some vegetables, some weeds, some grass that we're composting and so Nothing is hot or anything. This took about eight months. All I did was dumping, making a pile and dumping everything in it. And then about a year later, in my experience, 
in our weather, I get like, broken down almost all the way. This is not broken down almost all the way, but it's still very rich compost. So I am trying to send back to the compost pile whatever needs to still be uh, worked on a little bit more. But the fun part of this is <laughs> getting it wet because you know there it's a there's a bunch of it as you can see right there and it takes a minute to absorb the water you think that since it's compost it'd be easier but if you don't do anything to your compost pile meaning you don't add water or anything like that then that's what happens and I always put new compost on top I mean new um, stuff that I want to compost on top of sometimes what it is already composted so that is why I'm kind of removing all that new stuff that shouldn't be there. Now the good thing about perlite is that creates a little bit of smoothness, I want to say, but basically not let the peat moss compact and that way not, not absorb water. So just make sure, and this is why watering always helps when I do it before. And now after all of this look like this. I'm gonna water it one more time. I never work with peat moss, you know, that is very hard to absorb water. So that's why I was watering before actually putting the peat moss. So the bottom layer would absorb the water and I would just have to make sure that I wet the surface of peat moss and perlite. Okay, this is gonna be cabbage. And I can't find my green square foot garden thing, so I'm gonna... I think it's one per square foot, so I'm gonna do four here. Other one, I'm gonna do the same. But this one, I'm gonna do six instead of four. I'll do maybe I'll do more maybe I'll do one here and one here yeah then we'll do nine in this one and this is um, Brunswick Brunswick cabbage um, by Baker Creek this is the only variety I could find locally that were not your typical $2 uh, seeds at Walmart. Now, I would have done that, I have no problem, but I wanted to find something different. So there's nine here and four here. No, 
over there in the back, right here, I'll probably use the three back spaces for it. I'm gonna try to grow carrots. This is new Kuroda, which I've never grown before. And I'm gonna do a little, I'm not gonna be too careful. I'm gonna do little, I'm gonna end up with carrots everywhere, but. Can you see the bats? That is a bat. Night, boys. <laughs> 